Join me for conference this week. I'm at the Shala. We are continuing our studies of the eight limbs. Specifically, we started last week to study pranayama, our life force, the essence of who we are, the energy that rides on the breath, and ayama, as yogis learn to control how we breathe and how we control our pranic flow. As well, we also train and become better at it, not just on our yoga mats, but in life. So. We talked about the benefits to the physical body, to the energy body, and to our moods and our mind. And this week I want to specifically focus on breathing and the mind and how we can either elevate our mood, give us more energy, pull us out of depression, or we can use our breath to help us calm down and we can use our breath to help us relax and decrease stress and anxiety. I am going to quote a few books if you watch the entire conference, some um, some new research that James Nestor has shared in his book, Breath, and also just some old, beautiful um, practices and some studies from Deskachar on Heart of Yoga. But for this short video, I just want to inspire you by saying very simply that your inhale and your exhale and your retention can actually help you like the most fastest pill out of your pocket, better than any pill can help you to shift your moods at any time. And if we study, we understand that the right nostril is associated with our sympathetic nervous system. And if I just hold my left nostril and breathe for a few breaths through the right, I can increase my energy. And if I was feeling a little dull or even a little um, depressed, um, stuck, I could use this breath to activate my mood and my energy. Um, obviously, then the other side, my left nostril is associated with my parasympathetic, my ability to rest and chill and um, modulate out of stress. So we'll just take a few breaths here. Hold your right nostril, inhale. So you can try this throughout the day, or you can begin your um, pranayama practice separate from your asana practice in the morning by using a long inhale practices to increase your energy in the morning, elevate your moods. So, just a few breaths, you already start to feel your chemistry change. And the same if you know that you're going to already start in your morning stressed, you can do long exhale breaths when you inhale and exhale. So in conference, I'll give you a couple options on how you can breathe. But the important thing is, yogis, that we learn how to hold our breath and control how the breath is used and how it flows throughout the body. So join me for conference and use your breath as a morning practice or right before you go to bed or throughout the day to shift your moods.